So in this video I'm going to attempt to make sodium silica and aka water glass. It's a, a high heat glue. Um, I'm going to use it probably for refractory. That's my idea anyway after watching some videos and uh, I'll post the videos that uh, where I got this idea from in the comments below if you want to see the original. This isn't my idea. This is I'm just following someone else's direction so I'm going to give this a try. Um, so it's also used to, uh, from the research I've done, you can use it to uh, preserve eggs back in the day uh, to keep them from spoiling without refrigeration. And they used to use it, and maybe they still do, in um, to plug radiator leaks. So, anyways, um, how do you make this stuff? Well, I couldn't buy it, so I have to make it. I couldn't find a place locally to buy it. Um, I tried all the hardware stores. I tried it in the industrial park. Um, no one seems to really carry it anymore. Um, they carry a lower concentration grade uh, of water glass for sealing concrete floors, but I need something that's a little more concentrated. So, uh, so what do you need? It's basically three ingredients. Four, technically, if you count heat. So I have water, um, silica crystals, which is this kitty litter, which can also be found in those do not eat packages, the silica gel packages for um, preserving, uh, keeping moisture out of electronics. And you need lye, which is sodium hydroxide, um, which is used in soap making. In Canada, the only place I could find it uh, was at home hardware, uh, incidentally. So I was able to get it there. Or you can get it from a soap maker. And it's relatively cheap. All these ingredients are fairly cheap. So what I've done is I've measured out 200 grams of lye, 300 grams of silica crystals, and apparently the color doesn't make a difference. It just might make the uh, the water glass come out a little uh, different color. And 500 milliliters of water. So I'm using cold water, and what I'm going to do is you want to do this in a ventilated area with some eye protection probably, and maybe even uh, a respirator if uh, you're not in a very well ventilated area. So do it outside. Because when you add lye to water, it causes a chemical reaction. It's the same. This is the same stuff uh, in a typically drain cleaner, but now they mix other chemicals in with the drain cleaner, so it's not just pure lye. Um, at least in Canada. Okay, so I'm going to set up, and I'll start adding all the all the ingredients together, and uh, see what we come out with. This is a butane camp stove that I'm going to use. I have my stainless steel bowl with water. I'm going to add the lye crystals to this. And then it's going to cause a reaction. It's going to probably heat up. I've used this for drain cleaner, incidentally, actually. And it'll create some nasty gases. And, you, know, you don't want to be standing over it. So here's my 200 grams of that I've already measured out. I'm going to add it to the water and start bubbling up. Got my stir stick. And this will start creating heat. I don't have the butane stove on at the moment. I want to get this all mixed up and then I'm going to uh, add heat when I need to to, uh, to dissolve the silica gel. So we'll just let this go until this gets uh, going. You can really see the uh, steam coming off of it now.
adding more and more until, uh, until it stops bubbling. And now it's nice and clear and it's very highly concentrated when you get these little, see these little, uh, these little drops solidifying at the end of my stir stick. So that means it's pretty concentrated. And there you go, sodium silicate, aka water glass. So my intended purpose for this is just to try it, and I'm going to uh, try making a high heat refractory with it to put in another coffee can forge. I'm also working on a larger forge, a proper one too. So stay tuned if you uh, if you see my videos, if you've come to my channel and you uh, see my coffee can forge video. Um, I'm working on some other forges. Alright, so here's the final product. I poured it out after it cooled off. 
into a container for storage. I'm going to make up another batch or two, make sure I have enough. Um, so that's it. That's how you make sodium silica silicate, um, aka water glass. Really interesting stuff. It's been around a really long time. I guess it's just kind of fallen out of favor because of uh, new technologies. But uh, kind of interesting. So I'm going to play around with this stuff. But you can see it's really concentrated just by the skin that's forming on top there. So And it's quite thicker than a lot of the uh, cement floor sealers that are supposedly water glass as well. Um, Alright, thanks for watching.